as an executive coach, how can I find the time to consistently put video out, manage social media, and get on with the, the things that I enjoy doing? It's a great question that I often get asked. My answer is very simple, is start small. Start in a strategic way. A lot of people think you've got to have a lot of content in order to create a consistent video strategy and be out and active on social media regularly. First things first, most people only want to post about three times a week for an executive audience. That's fair. Three times a week, which is probably 12 to 15 videos a month maximum. What you can probably do to kickstart yourself off on that, before you start to worry about recording individual problems, individual questions and case studies, is to actually just record yourself talking for 20 minutes. Like this, just a monologue. Have some ideas about topics you want to touch on and think about things at the very top of your customer's funnel. What are the problems they're facing? How are they feeling? And talk to those things. Talk to the challenges that you solve. Don't worry about, do I need to charge for this advice and all those sorts of things? Because let's be honest, the money that you charge is the value that you bring to the table, not your individual answers for a specific situation. It's that power of that conversation, right? And you can share with them through that video how easy it is to engage with you and how different your solutions are. Maybe align with them based on the sorts of things that you're saying that they've actually already considered maybe and they just need help working through those answers. And the important thing here is to remember you can be efficient and productive. It's not about creating yourself a pile of work. I absolutely don't advocate for that because you'll never keep it up. So it's about being simple to start with. Where's your main channel that you want to be active on? What other secondary channels might you consider over the long term? Now, I asked that second question for a reason. You'll see it in a moment. But first up, record that 20 minute video. Then turn that 20 minute video into 10, 15 separate video clips, a couple of minutes long maximum take some context, put it into a separate composition, and then output that. And the reason you need to identify your primary and secondary channels is because what you can probably do from day one is output it in landscape, portrait, square, so that it suits the style of the channels that you might experiment with down the line. It saves you having to come back and redo the work. If you can find a way to be efficient with that, and I highly recommend this script as a tool to do that, because if you can edit a Word document, you can edit a video. It's very simple to use. It gets you a good start on things. Don't forget a good Canva YouTube thumbnail and you're away at the races. And it really is that simple. Create that 20 minute video as your the first thing you do each month or for the month in advance. Do it two weeks before the start of month. Record it, get it clipped up, put it down into content. And then all you've got to do is each day write a post that goes with that. Or at the beginning of the week, write a bunch of posts for the coming week based on the videos that you've got clipped up on the topics that you're aligned with for the month. And that's the bit that we all struggle with is staying on track, staying with that strategy. But if you do video first strategy, it means it's very easy to talk about the relevant topics and create content based on just the video. And it means you can stay aligned, which makes you much more, gives you a much better narrative for your audience, much better thought process for anybody who's watching along with your content.